Welcome into the breakdown presented by Microsoft Teams. I'm Aaron Summers, joined by former Saints wide receiver Marcus Colston. The Saints have been rolling since the bye week. How have you liked what they've been able to do on the field over the past two games? I mean, the, the thing that, that you, you look for as a fan and, and really as a player is you just got to figure out how to win that game that week. And I think they've done a really good job of, of figuring out what it takes for that given week um, to, to score one more point than the opponent. And um, they've done a really good job of, of really utilizing their personnel. Um, the defense has really been playing well, uh, really for, the, for most of the season. So, um, you know, I think that bye week probably gave them an opportunity to, to, to self-scout a little bit, recalibrate. And uh, I think you're starting to see, you know, just the ability to put themselves in winning situations uh, for these last handful of weeks. And that's, that's what it's going to take to beat this Eagles team. How fun has it been to watch some of the rookie receivers and Chris Olave and Rashid Shahid get out on the field and have the success that they've had in their first year? It's, it's, it's been phenomenal, especially with Chris um, from day one, just just watching. Um, it's been so impressive to me to, to see the feel that he has for the game so early. Um, you know, if you if you watch him and, and you you didn't know who you were watching, you, you think you're watching a 10 year vet out there. And Shahid, I mean, when, when you come in that way, um, you know, you, you you know, you're on the clock from day one. Right. So, uh, like you said, the moment hasn't big too hasn't been too big for him. And, you know, just the plays that he's making, the timely plays that he's making, um, the big plays like that's in any offense. It, it's hard to get the ball and drive 80 yards every time. Right. So his ability to just take the top off of the defense and, you know, kind of be that lightning strike, uh, it, it changes an offense, you know. So, you know, with those two guys rolling, um, it, it's it's uh, it's going to be really fun to, to kind of see what the future holds. What are the keys you think for the Saints to get the win Sunday? I think I think more of what you've seen the last couple of weeks, I, I think, um, you know, just the ability to to uh, get off the field on third down uh, on defense the ability to convert third downs on offense um, and, you know, a handful of big plays uh, in a passing game. And I, I think if, if you're able to control the ball, control the clock, you know, against this team, um, they, they've got some 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 guys missing in the secondary, I think. Um, you know, so if, if you're able to just to really control the ball, control third down, um, you're going to be in it at the end of the game. And that's all you that's all you want as a player and as a coach. You just want to be in it at the end of the game. Give yourself a chance to win. Marcus, thank you so much for joining us for the breakdown presented by Microsoft Teams. We'll see you in Philly. Always. Thank you.